Welcome to Countax. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the cost volume profit analysis, otherwise known as the CVP analysis or break even analysis. So, why do we do this? Well, CVP analysis helps us determine how changes to costs and volumes affect profitability. And we'll see how that works right now. And why are we, what are we going to do in this lesson? Well, the example that follows will show how to calculate break even volume that is the break-even sales units, break-even value, that is the break-even rent amount, and the units to sell for a desired level of profit and the margin of safety. So that is what we're going to look at in this example. And after this example, I'm pretty sure you should be able to do the CVP analysis by yourself whenever you are required to. So let's look at this example. We are told that Tamgo Limited is a business specializing in office stationery. They are currently analyzing their folder manufacturing division. In 2019, folders are sold at 45 rand each. The variable cost to manufacture each folder is 30 rand each. Fixed manufacturing costs are 15,000 rand each. Other fixed costs are 12,000 rand. The total sales for the year amounted to 90,000 rand. We are also told that the following changes are expected in 2020. Selling price will increase by 10%, variable costs increase by 20%, fixed manufacturing costs decline by 10%, and other fixed re costs remains the same as 2019. So what are we required to do? Well, here are the requirements. The first one is, what is the break-even level in units for 2019? The second question is, how many folders must be sold in 2019 if the target profit is 21,000 rand? The third one is what is the margin of safety, value, and percentage. And the fourth requirement is what is the break-even point for 2020 in rands. So let's look at the first one. What is the break-even level in units for 2019? Now, what is the break-even level or what is the break-even units? What is the break-even point? Why do we do it? Well, the break-even point is the point at which we are not making a profit and we are not making a loss so it's where we break even so we are neither making a profit nor a loss so the break even units is the amount of units that we need to sell for us to break even for us to be neither making a profit nor a loss so for it's just for us to be able to pay for all our fixed costs and other expenses and our net profit will be at zero so that is why we do the break even level we want the level at which our net profit will be at zero so how do we calculate the break-even level in units as we are required to do for 2019? Well, here's the formula for the break-even units. It's fixed costs divided by the contribution per unit. Fixed costs divided by the contribution per unit. So let's begin with this. What is our fixed costs? Well, we're told that the fixed manufacturing costs are 15,000 Rand and other fixed costs are 12,000 Rand. So we're going to add all our fixed costs together. So we'll take the 15,000 Rand plus the 12,000 Rand. we we'll get the total fixed cost of 27,000 Rand. So this is the fixed cost that we're going to divide by the contribution per unit. But what is the contribution per unit? We are given the sales price per unit, which is 45 Rand. And we're also given the variable cost per unit, which is 30 Rand each. So we know that the variable cost per unit is the combination of your direct material and your direct labor and other variable costs that you might have. So it's uh, mainly direct labor and direct material. So if that's, you, that's what you have in your question, you will know that, that is your, those are your variable costs. But we are told that the variable cost is 30 rand per unit. So how do we get the contribution per unit? Well, the contribution per unit is sales price per unit minus variable cost per unit which is 45 rand sales price per unit minus the 30 rand variable cost per unit we get the contribution per unit of 15 rand so now that we have our fixed costs and we have our contribution per unit we do the calculation our break even units equals 27000 rand which is the fixed costs minus the 15 rand which is the contribution per unit so our answer is 1800 units what does that mean well, it means that if we sell 1,800 units, we will have a net profit of zero. That means we will neither be making a loss, nor will we be making a profit. And that is what the break-even units mean. So we've just done the first one. Let's look at the second requirement. We asked how many folders must be sold in 2019 if the target profit 
is 21,000 Rand. So this question simply says that we want to make a profit of 21,000 Rand. So how many folders do we need to sell or how many units do we need to sell for us to achieve that profit? Well, here's the formula. Target sales units equals the fixed costs, the total fixed cost that is, plus the targeted profit or how much profit we want to make divide by the contribution per unit. So you can see it's very similar to the break even units. But here we're just adding the targeted profit to the fixed costs. So let's do that. Targeted sales equals 27,000 Rand, which is our total fixed costs, plus 21,000 Rand, which is our targeted profit, divided by the contribution per unit, which we calculated in our first requirement, which is 15 Rand, and it gives us 3,200 units. What does that mean? It means that if we sell 3,200 units, we will be able to make a profit of 21,000 Rand. So that we have just done as the second requirement. Let's look at the third one. We are asked what is the margin of safety value and percentage. So we are asked to do two things, to calculate the margin of safety value and to calculate the margin of safety percentage. Well, the first question is, what is the margin of safety? Well, the margin of safety is the amount of sales that exceed the break-even point or the amount of sales a company can afford to lose on before it stops being profitable. So, in essence, it's the difference between the break-even value and the sales value. The break-even value and the sales value. So, it's how much more sales we have made over the break-even value or the break-even point. And here's a note that I put in brackets here. The higher the margin of safety, the better it is for the company because there is a greater gap between profitability and loss, or there's a higher gap between the profits we have made and the break-even point, which is good for the company. So let's do this requirement. What is the margin of safety value? Let's do that one first before we do the percentage. Well, here's the formula for the margin of safety value. The margin of safety value equals the actual sales value or the actual sales value in rands minus the break-even value in rands. So what is the actual sales value? Well, we're given the actual sales value of 90,000 rand, but what is our break-even value? Well, remember we had calculated the break-even in units, right? So now we need to calculate the break-even value. And the break-even value or the break-even sales equals to 1,800 units, which is the break-even units which we had calculated in our first requirement, multiplied by the sales price per unit. And it will give us a break-even value or the break-even sales of 81,000 Rand. Now the question is, what is the margin of safety value? Well, we have the formula. So we plug in the 90,000 Rand, which is the actual sales value, which we're given over here minus the 81,000 rand which is the break even sales and it gives and it gives us a margin of safety value of 9,000 rand that means our sales exceed our break even value or our break even sales by 9,000 rand and that is why we are calculating this well let's do the second one we are told to calculate the margin of safety value which we have just done and the margin of safety percentage so how do we calculate the margin of safety percentage well that one is also fairly simple the margin of safety percentage equals the margin of safety value divided by the sales value. The margin of safety value divided by the sales value. Well, we have just calculated the margin of safety value, which is 9,000 Rand, and we have the sales value of 90,000 Rand. So you can see that our margin of safety percentage is 10%. 9,000 Rand, which is the margin of safety value, divided by the sales value, which is the 90 thousand rand and it gives us a margin of safety percentage of 10 percent that means from what we have made sales of we only have wiggle room of 10 percent if our sales falls by more than 10 percent we will be making a loss so, and that is why we do the margin of safety so let's look at the last requirement number four we are asked what is the break-even point for 2020 in rands well we have just done everything for 2019 that we were asked to do and we are told that the following changes are expected in 2020. The sales price will increase by 10%, variable costs increase by 20%, fixed manufacturing costs decline by 10% and other fixed 
costs remain the same as in 2019. So what is the break-even point for 2020 in rands? Remember the first requirement was what is the break-even point in units. Now we want the break-even point in rands. So how do we do that? Well, the break-even point in rands equals the fixed costs, the total fixed cost that we have, divided by the contribution margin ratio. So let's look at both of those. Well, let's first calculate our selling price per unit, our variable cost per unit, our contribution per unit, and our fixed costs, taking into account these changes that will happen in 2020. Well, what is our selling price per unit taking into account these changes? We are told that the selling price will increase by 10%. So we have to increase this for 5 rand per unit by 10%. So our sales price per unit equals to 45 rand times the 1.1 which is 100 percent plus the 10 percent on top of it it gives us a new selling price for 2020 of 49 rand 50 cents so we have just done that one let's look at the variable cost per unit with the increase our variable cost per unit in 2019 was 30 rand but in 2020 it's going to have an increase of 20 percent so it's 30 rand times 1.2 it gives us a variable cost per unit in 2020 of 36 rand now what is our contribution per unit well we know that our contribution per unit equals our selling price per unit minus our variable cost per unit and it gives us a contribution per unit of 13 rand 50 cents so we have just gotten our contribution per unit now the question is what is our new fixed costs we're told that our fixed manufacturing cost declined by 10 percent so fixed manufacturing cost we take 100% minus 10% gives us 0.9 or 90% times the 15,000 rand for the fixed manufacturing cost. We have a new fixed manufacturing cost in 2020 of 13,500 rand. Now, if we add up our fixed costs together, it's 13,500 rand for fixed manufacturing cost plus other fixed costs which will remain the same as we are told of 12,000 rand because we're given here at the beginning and it will remain the same so it does not increase nor decrease and we get total fixed costs of 25,500 rand so we have our total fixed costs or the new total fixed costs we have our contribution per unit of 13 rand 50 now what is our contribution margin ratio well for us to get our contribution margin ratio we take our contribution per unit divided by the sales price per unit so our contribution per unit divided by sales price per unit and we get our contribution margin ratio of 27.27 percent or 0 0.2727 now that we have everything we need we take our formula for break-even point in rands of fixed costs, which is 25,500 rand, divided by the contribution margin ratio, which is 0 0.2727 or 27.27%, .27%, and we get 93,500 rand. And obviously, there will be a rounding of differences of a few rands, but that does not matter much. And that is how we calculate our break-even point in rands. The reason it was a long process is because of these changes that happened. But if your question has no changes to the prices or the costs, then you will just plug the figures in and you'll be able to get your break-even point in rands. Now, as a last point for this requirement, there's another way we can calculate our break-even point in rands. And this is the formula. It's our break-even units multiplied by our sales price per unit. Our break-even units multiplied by our sales price per unit. So remember we had calculated our break-even unit in our first requirement and we got 1,800 units. So let's get our break-even units and multiply that by our sales price per unit. Well, we know that our break-even units equals the fixed costs divided by the contribution per unit. So let's take this into account. The 25,500 rand, which is our fixed cost, divide by the contribution per unit of 13 rand 50 cents and we get our break even in units and we multiply that by the sales price per unit of 49 rand 50 cents and we get the same answer 93,500 
rand as we did here so these are the two ways you can calculate or you can get your break even point in in rands or the break even value so the first one is the fixed costs divided by the contribution margin ratio and the second one is the break even units multiplied by the sales price per unit and that is how we do the cvp analysis or the cost volume profit analysis if this video has made sense to you if you have gained value from this lesson please consider subscribing to our channel liking this video and sharing it if you can till next time cheers